Okay, so this is a 22 karat. Yo, what's up guys? This is my first vlog ever. Yesterday, you see I got a haircut, so I'll take you guys through that. So be sure to subscribe, like the video. Let's get started. We hopped real quick into the chair at the barber shop. My boy Clay decided to cut it up for me. His name's Cut It Up Clay on Instagram. Go check him out. Finding a good barber is literally one of the hardest things I think I've ever done throughout my entire life. I don't know what it is. It's like every barber is either unreliable, go randomly mess up your haircut, or they're just way too expensive. But yo, my boy Clay, he's in between all of those things. I've gone to this man for so long and he has not once messed up my haircut. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, if I'm being honest. And I told the story a tiny bit on TikTok, but I'm gonna tell more in detail today. When I was younger, I had to get a haircut for my Thanksgiving dinner. My mom was really mad because I like to grow my hair out really long. I mean, if you know me, you've probably seen me with my mullet before, but she basically forced me to do it and nobody's gonna really take a haircut appointment the day before Thanksgiving without an appointment. And so I just went to the local barber shop near my town. And I'm not gonna name the barber shop because it was one barber that did a bad job. You know, you shouldn't blame the entire shop. But I walked into that place and I told the man very specifically, let me get a skin tight fade and a little off the top. A one faded into a two or a three on the sides and cut a little off the top. And I was sitting there and I realized how big of a mistake I made when I heard the razor start going to the top of my head. It was already too late at that point. I was like, bro, what are you doing? And I was just kind of sitting there quietly because he was like, no, no, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. And he literally ended up giving me a buzz cut. I could not pull off a buzz cut. It was legitimately one of the worst haircut experiences I ever experienced. And when I got out of the chair and he told me that the haircut was $25, I was like, you know what? I'm never coming back to this place again, so I might as well just tip. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. You know, it's nice to do that, I guess. Anyway, shout out to Clay for always giving me a fresh cut. Let's go check up on my brother real quick. You want to be in the vlog for a second? You want to be in the vlog for a second? Yes or no? Are you talking to me or no? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Is this on? Yeah, don't worry. You want me to vlog for a second? Yeah, sure. All right, I got five yeah. bucks. Okay. If you can name the capital of Tennessee in the next three seconds, I'll give it to you. One, Not two. Well. All right, let's Google it. Nashville. Uh, good try, good try, good try. Thanks for being here. Yo, someone who watches my TikToks sent me this stuff called Thinking Party stuff is just so satisfying. I mean, watch. Now, you just may be thinking to yourself, Mala, this is just regular putty. This is magic putty. This is the bounciest, stretchiest, and literally most firm putty I've ever felt. And apparently, it's magnetic. I didn't test the magnetism, but, you know, I probably, I trust it. So, I rolled this bad boy up into a ball and started throwing it against my wall. Okay, and now, I'm kind of hungry. So, let's go to Subway. Ah, home sweet home. And here we are back at Subway again. You know, sometimes it's kind of difficult to come into the store, I'm not gonna lie. Especially on days where I'm not really feeling it. I mean, it might seem like I'm always happy to go to work every single day, but like, I'm gonna be honest with all you guys, every day at work is not the best. Especially when you're working fast food, it can be a kind of, kind of a buzzkill sometimes. But on those days, you're getting really tested. I have to make it known that not every day is going to be glamorous, and everybody should know that. So if you wake up one day and you're not feeling the best, it's completely okay. Okay, and it's actually more than okay. It's natural. It's really a bad thing if you're waking up every single day ex super excited to just do everything. I mean, every day, like, I, I I don't know. I mean, good for those people, right? But sometimes you'll have a day where you don't want to go into work. And on days like those, it's important to talk to your customers because sometimes you'll have a great customer like Tito come in. If you don't know who Tito is, he's came in the past. He's tipped me $100 before. He's done so much. And he's overall just a great guy. And it's like every single time he comes in, it's always something new, which is so cool to me. I mean, it's like, it's like an experience with the sandwich, you know? So this time Tito came in and he got himself a Tony Hawk sub and he got himself one of the Malad subs. I'm sure all of you already know what a Malad sub is, but in case you don't, it's a turkey with lettuce, American cheese, mayo, and signature red Doritos. This is the sandwich I've gotten since my childhood, man. It don't miss. So yeah, I had kind of a short shift this day. It was only like four and a half hours, but this was one of those days where I was working all alone. And in the past, it didn't really matter whether or not I was working alone, but recently the store gets so busy and we're trying to hire. So it's really tough on days when I'm alone. But luckily, my girlfriend came in and she was able to help me while I was closing. Big shout out to her. I mean, she's the best. And yeah, basically that's my day at Subway. These sandwiches look delicious. Tito had a good time. I had a good time and he actually gave me a gift. So let's see what it is. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something else. The other day at Subway, somebody came in and they gave me this. Now this is the rarest $2 bill I think I've ever seen. We gotta go into POV for this. Okay, so this is a 22 karat gold plated $2 bill. These things aren't actually from the treasury, but they're really 
really cool collector's item that Tito brought for me. And once again, I gotta say thank you so much. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks so crisp. I'll be holding on to this thing for a few years. And that is gonna be it for today's vlog, yo. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if I should do more of these. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this, but you guys let me know, all right? Peace and love, everybody. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And remember, eat fresh. Peace.